Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. I'm going to talk to you today about the convertible top hydraulic system on the Volvo C70. Um, model year designation are a little bit different from country to country, roughly model years 2006 through 2013. The hydraulic top in this uh, car is pretty awesome. It's been very well engineered and um, I'm going to show you what can go wrong on the hydraulic end on the, of this and with the good news uh, show you how to fix it, how to take care of it. Top Hydraulics rebuilds hydraulic cylinders, makes new hydraulic hoses, rebuilds pumps. Uh, this is what we do all the time and that's uh, why I'm going to talk to you about it. So the convertible top system, you've seen it in action, it folds very nicely. It's quite a feat of engineering how the three panels fold on top of each other into the trunk and still leave room for luggage and even have the feature of uh, load assist where if you want to load the trunk you push a button and the, uh, um, um, the lowered top raises up a little bit inside the trunk so you can fill the uh, luggage area. Anyway, uh, what can go wrong on the hydraulic end here? Well, um, let's talk first about what's in the system hydraulically. We have a pump that is in the forward lower area of the trunk and uh, it feeds 11 hydraulic cylinders in total. Um, let's go over those cylinders in detail, uh, what, what they do. The We'll start in the rear. We have the two boot lid or trunk lid cylinders that uh, flip the trunk lid backwards. We have a distributor here that gets um, fluid supplied from the um, pump to the distributor, from the distributor then to the uh, to some various cylinders. So trunk lid cylinders, here are the um, cover cylinders. These are the cylinders that extend the plastic cover or storage cover for the convertible top. Some people also call them tonneau cover cylinders. Again, one each on each side. Here are frame lock um, or rear frame lock cylinders that latch the rear portion of the convertible top down. Here we have the uh, master cylinders or main lift cylinders. They are mounted roughly over here um, that will uh, lift and retract the main portion of the uh, convertible uh, hardtop. Here we have the roof cylinders that are mounted roughly around here and that mostly um, move the uh, front portion and the mid portion of the roof around and latch them to each other. And lastly we have the front lock cylinder that is mounted in the top panel in the center in this direction and it uh, moves the locking mechanism to lock the uh, front of the hardtop to the windshield header. Um, the hydraulic cylinders will fail at some point. How soon they fail depends mostly on the age of the car and on the temperature climate that it's been exposed to. Why is that? Well, the, uh, each cylinder has on average seven seals inside. The seals that fail first, ironically, are either on the bottom or at the very front of the cylinder. Uh, those are seals that actually just seal metal parts of the cylinder to each other. Um, there are gland seals in the front. There are uh, plug seals on the bottom. Then there's a piston seal obviously that uh, divides the fluid from top and bottom of the cylinder so pressure can be applied and there are port seals. There are also wipers that keep dirt out. The uh, gland seals and the um, plug seals are made of a material that will decay fairly quickly with time. It's unfortunately planned obsolescence. It could have been done a lot better. Top Hydraulics does put in uh, Viton seals that will uh, far outlast the original seals. Um, our rebuilds should last about 30 to 50 years, whereas um, new cylinders will last depending on circumstance environment somewhere between 10 and 20 years. So uh, what else can go wrong in this system? The uh, 
pump of course is fairly intricate you know it has a pressure relief valve um, that is actuated from the inside if you ever have to manually move the top you will uh, pull a cable that uh, releases the pressure and lets you move the cylinders without them getting blocked. It has a number of solenoids that um, distribute the flow to the various hoses to move the cylinders in various uh, directions. The pump has a bunch of internal valves, fancy ones, that um, will eventually fail. And it has the uh, electric motor impeller and the rotor piston assembly in here. Um, if your car has uh, been flooded or has had serious water intrusion, then it's possible that this pump got wet and just the motor got bad. Um, if you have water intrusion into the pump, that's a bigger deal. Uh, there's also an impeller that can go wrong inside the pump, but in the long run, the most important failures on this pump are actually internal, and those are things that um, uh, are not absolutely not a do-it-yourself fix and there are no parts available for that. So if you have a pump failure actually the um, right thing to do is to send it to Top Hydraulics to get it rebuilt or um, get a core exchange where we send one from our inventory first then uh, you send yours back for a core refund and the same applies for uh, to the cylinders. Um, we are going to show you later how to take every each and every sing cylinder out of the car it's actually quite easy if you know how and um, with that you can do the job yourself if you're uh, willing to pay attention to detail and you have uh, a little bit of help uh, moving parts around. Lastly, what else can go wrong? The hoses. The original hoses in this system unfortunately are a little bit under designed. They have been designed to um, work about 10,000 cycles if they're installed correctly and if nothing else goes wrong. But it's not an ideal world. Um, we do see a lot of hose failures on the C70, mostly because the walls on these hoses have been designed just to do the job. There is not much uh, extra material there. Top Hydraulics makes better hoses um, with slightly thicker walls and a lot more wear resistance also able to hold up to about 20 times the pressure in this hydraulic system. The hoses connect to the pump or the distributor uh, on one end and to the cylinder on the other. They're fastened to the cylinders with, with clips that slide in these rails so they're actually easy to take out and the uh, main part up um, about removing these hoses is just um, to keep track of how they're routed and put them right back the way they were before. Um, you do not have to um, preemptively replace any hoses in your C70. If they're not failing, um, then they're okay. They've been de designed to do the job. It's only if they have been installed incorrectly or used under harsh conditions that uh, the hoses will fail. Whereas the cylinders positively will fail at some point and um, at some point you will want to replace those cylinders. Again, easy job to do and you may well consider doing the whole set in one go instead of one cylinder after the other after the other because what happens is if you have a cylinder failing on one side, well the seal in it has aged all the seals in it have aged. The first seal that fails um, has aged to a point that it uh, leaks. Well, the same seal on the other cylinder on the other side is the same age and uh, it will have decayed uh, just about as much. So if one cylinder fails, it's almost certain that the other cylinder will fail um, within a very short period, within days or weeks of uh, you replacing the first one. So at the very least go in pairs. I will also tell you which cylinders tend to fail first. Those are the ones that are exposed to the most heat. How are they exposed to heat? Well, particularly the ones that are mounted in the roof close to the top where there's not a lot of insulation and they get very hot from the sun beating on them. There is the front lock or top lock cylinder will fail early as will the uh, roof cylinders and the um, cover cylinders. These 
uh, six, oops, one, two, three, four, five cylinders will be the first ones to fail. Then the trunk lid cylinders last the uh, main lift or master cylinders because they're well protected farther down inside the car. I uh, hope that makes sense and next we will show you how to remove these cylinders from the car.